Hi there, it is my transversary. Uh, as you can see, we traditionally do a Y, X on my transversary, and it's also trans day of visibility. So we have been doing a little bit of um, fundraising this year. We've raised a thousand dollars as of the time of this recording. Um, you can see behind me here, now let me just uh, clip that up. You can see behind me here, we've got uh, these foam panels. Uh, we've been working on uh, getting the audio in here. We've got some foam panels just above me and foam panels right behind me where you can't see them. Um, so you'll find that the audio is basically acceptable right now. Well, at least I hope it is. Um, the video I recorded was just after we got settled in um, to this new rig room that I'm in. And there was a lot of reverberation and I was still trying to get the um, mic set up after it had been traveling around quite a lot so the mic is pretty awful so apologies for that um i was going to recreate it but there's a certain edge of emotion that, that was captured in uh in this video so i didn't want to try faking that um and i wasn't sure i'd be able to entirely recapture it so um it is cold and i'm wearing a coat uh, it's snowing outside but it's it's almost april <laughs> Anyway, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I will now move you to the video that I uh, recorded earlier. Uh, thank you very much. Take care. Um, so before... We get into the uh, into the race, into the uh, commentary, etc. Um, so, what a quick a quick word. Right about this time of year, um, I actually do a video, sort of become a tradition on my channel. Um, why X? I did a Why Lisa because um, crew chief would call me Lisa, and it's because there wasn't a a mod. Or Annalise is basically the shorthand for that. When Elise came up, I created a video called Why Elise. And I've been thinking about doing a Why mod uh, for um, this year, but um, circumstances changed, caused me to rethink my plan. So I'm going to do a video, as this is the video, in fact, and um, I'm going to do for uh, Why Kiko. My surname is Kiko. Um, I'll put that on the screen there. That's how it's spelled. Uh, well, how it was anglicised in 1950 or so when my grandmother came, uh, escaped from the Soviets from Ukraine um, while she was um, pregnant with my father, I think was the, the thing. I mean, the story gets very muddled over time, of course, as you might expect. Um, if you convert this into Cyrillic though, rather than sort of Anglo or the Romanized version, it's uh, more like this. Um, and you may have seen um, the K and backwards N in the news a little bit. Um, obviously, the president of Ukraine's name ends that way. Um, you'll also find um, Kiev. Kiev. Uh, it starts. K and then the backwards N. Um, I have researched for pretty much all my life, trying to figure out more about my family history. There's there's some black holes that I haven't been able to sort of diverge. One of them is like other people with my name who who I'm actually related to because there was a bit of a break in um, in the connection there. Um, but the general understanding I've come to is that um, it's two. The name, the name comes into sort of two parts. There's the first part, K, E, E, Ki, Ki, like in, like with Kiev, and then Ko, which you'll find a lot in the Ukraine. You'll find it in um, in Russia and other Slavic countries. Ko meaning a descendant of. Um, so technically, it'd be the descendant of Kiev. Uh, now, who's, who is Kier, I thought? Is Kier a common name? Kier's not a common name, but um, that guy there, uh, that, that guy is Kier. Uh, he is the 
possibly mythical founder of Kiev. That's him defending the walls of, of Kiev there. Um, so, as you can imagine, the, uh, the recent events have had a bit of a strange impact on me. I don't have any family that I know currently in Ukraine, but it is part of my um, identity, my, my who, I, who I am, where I'm from, my ethnicity. So it's been it's been a pretty rough couple of weeks um, <clears throat> for me. I was obviously very angry back in two thousand fourteen, and now what we're seeing every day it's it's pretty rough. Um, so it's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of information for you, a little, a little bit of understanding about why you may see the yellow and blue appearing on my stream a little bit rather than the traditional. Uh, Pink and, uh, pinky purples and uh, blues.